So let's say you're doing um, selectively permeable membranes. You're in the cell and doing that and um, possibly going into uh, passive transport. And you'd like to do the, uh, the iodine and, and starch inside the baggie demonstration, you know, where they get together and then, then they, they react on the inside or the outside of the bag, depending on where you have the starch and the iodine. Um, but you don't have dialysis tubing. Well, there's another way you can do this. It's not quite as quick or not quite as good, but you can still do it and still have the same reaction. Here's how you, and, and here's what, what you need. You need a small beaker and just a plain old piece, piece of plastic wrap. And for this one, I've got the uh, Glad Cling Wrap, just, you know, a piece about this size right here. And I'm going to stick my finger in the middle of this piece of plastic wrap and then put it down into the little... 50 or 100 mil beaker so that it goes down in it. Put just a little dab, that's dry now, inside of there. I'm put just a little dab of, that's not a little dab, <laughs> cornstarch uh, inside of that baggie. Don't need very much. And then for the rest of inside of that, I'm going to pour some water. Hopefully the bag does not have, just don't need very much does not have a hole in it. And I'm not, I'm not even going to um, stir that up. It's already, you can tell by the cloudiness of it, it's already mixed up enough. You just need some starch. That's just plain old corn starch off the shelf of the grocery store. And we're going to twist that around and put a little twisty on there. Recycled from a loaf of bread. So all this stuff is right out of your kitchen, isn't it? And we'll set that aside. Good, no leaks. We'll use that back in a second. We're done with the little beaker. The bigger, bigger beaker, this is about a 250 mil. We're going to put just, I mean, I've seen this where people tell you exactly how much of this and water to put in. And, and uh, you know, you, you can measure if you want to. I'm just going to put some iodine. Really, the amount is not too important. And I'm just going to dilute that um, with some water. And then I'm just going to put the bag in. This has got the starch inside of it, right? And then the iodine diluted on the outside. And we'll set that in there. And um, what you get is after about an hour um, of waiting. Yes, it does take a little bit of time. But remember, what you're getting here, you don't have to buy the dialysis tubing. Um, and, and by the way, I'll tell you that I tried this with the grocery sacks from the store and even Avon sacks and Ziploc bags of different kinds, just all in the, in the sandwich bags of, of different brands. Um, but this is, is the one that for me, you can try them as well, but this one did it for me the best. So after about an hour, what will happen is um, wherever the iodine and the starch are mixing, it's going to start to turn black which in this case is going to be inside the bag because this bag, even though it's small enough, the, the, the holes in this bag are small enough to hold water. See, it's not um, dripping water from the inside. That's from the outside. Um, it'll, it had, the holes are small enough that the iodine on the outside can slip through there. And so that chemical reaction between the iodine and the starch can happen on the inside. And you'll begin to see it darken after about an hour. Um, let me pull one over here that I've had going on now for about two and a half hours. And you can see how nice and purpley that is right there. So again, it's happening inside the bag because the iodine can slip through, but the starch molecules are too big to uh, exit through those semi-permeable holes uh, on, on the bag. So that's what about two and a half hours looks like. You can also switch those and put iodine on the inside and um, your starch solution on the outside. I think I said that right. And uh, <laughs> so I would do this on day two or on day one, um, just normally like the iodine on the outside and starch on the inside. And then I'd say, okay, kids, tomorrow we're gonna switch them and we're gonna put the iodine on the inside and the starch on the outside and just, and do that. So on day two, I have a beaker under a towel and uh, I'll have the kids predict and they just know, right? that the water on the outside is going to be black as can be because that's what it was on on you know day one when it mixed on the inside here and that the inside is going to be clear or maybe a little bit of kind of a goldenish well actually that's not what happens when you pull the cover off of it and after they all, all said you know what they think is going to be and they're all turned out to be wrong um, 
you pick it up and it looks almost just like the bag on day one. Uh, this one, you know, this is all purpley on the inside. Um, but when you look closer, this is on day two I'm talking about. Um, it look, the bag's black, but it's on the outside. Um, there's a little bit of streaks on the outside, so the water is not going to turn very purplish black on day two. But you'll see that the reaction does, in fact, happen on the outside of the bag, literally on the bag itself.